Hi, I'm Andy from the Now TV Sports team, and I'm here at Sky HQ interviewing a few familiar faces on uh, the Home Nations qualification campaign for Euro 2016. Can you state your case for your country's qualification for the Euros? Well, I think first of all, there's still one point to get, you know. So, uh, but I, I genuinely believe we'll get there. Now, I'm looking forward to. It. I, th I think they deserve to be there, you know. And I think for the country, not just for the players, but I think. For the country and the nation to qualify for the major tournament for the first time since 1958 is, uh, is going to be something special. Still, still points needed. We need we need points to qualify. Um, Hungary are four points behind us with two games to go, and I think they've got easier games to play. So uh, we need one more result. If we can beat Greece, then we're qualified. So the next game against Greece is a massive game. You have to look back to the very start of the group to work out why Ireland have this great opportunity now, not just the Scotland performance and defeat in Georgia, everybody puts it down to that, it's given Ireland an opportunity, but where Ireland did very, very well was to get late goals against Georgia and Germany. And the night of the Georgia game, when Aidan McGeady scored a, an injury time winner, I think one of the comments we made was, it may turn out to be a very important moment. So little moments like that all add up and, and it gives Ireland a, a great chance of finishing third, I think. Scotland, is, as loads of people have said in the past, we never do anything easily. Uh, we were in a really good position within the group. There's loads of optimism. Um, the way we were playing, um, the results we were picking up. But then we went out to Georgia and for whatever reason, it just didn't happen. Which one would you choose? Qualification for the Euros or winning the Rugby World Cup? Qualifications for the Euros, I would have to say. Uh, I like my rugby, but I'm, I'm a soccer man, you know. And uh, I think even if, if Ireland qualified for the semi-finals, they'll have done really well. I think they have a great chance of qualifying for the semi-finals. Well, you know, I think, uh, yeah, but I would have to say both, but I think as a footballer, you know, I think uh, I, never, I never played in a major tournament for Wales, so my dream, is not to see Wales win the World Cup, but even though I hope they do, my dream <coughs> is to see Wales qualify for the major tournament while I'm still alive. Oh, all day long qualification for the Euros. That's just a ridiculous question. <laughs> um, I have to say I've really enjoyed uh, the rugby performances. I think Scotland have been terrific. Scoring tries, I'm not a big uh, rugby man, but I found myself watching the. I'm following the old uh, egg chasers uh, <laughs> and, uh, and really impressed and they're doing fantastically well, but uh, always football, sorry boy. Oh, well, ask nine out of ten in Ireland and they'll tell you winning the Rugby World Cup. There's a, there's a rugby fever going on at home. I'm uh, just hoping our football team can latch onto it a little bit and we can uh, have everybody happy and everybody smiling. But the only problem is if, if Ireland win the Rugby World Cup, Ireland will close down for a couple of weeks and there'll be, there'll be nothing done, never mind football. <laughs> Which players have impressed you most during the campaign? For Northern Ireland, um, obviously Kai Lafferty is the one that stands out. He's been absolutely amazing. Uh, scoring goals for fun, he's led the line really well, big, strong, quick, you know, he's had a fantastic tournament. Well, I have to put a big flag up here for Jonathan Walters. I think he's a, an unsung hero of the Irish team. Behind the scenes, he's been a great, what I would call a club man. Now, what I mean by that is in the dressing room, around the place, you know, stoking a, a passion about playing for his country. That has gone unnoticed in many quarters, but not from me. I, I think he's been superb. Obviously, uh, Gareth Bale, you know, he's. Uh, but I think they've done well as a team. I think what when you've got Gareth Bale and Aaron Ramsey, I think you've got players who can win your games. So uh, I think as a team, the rest of the players know that. And I think Ashley Williams, as a captain, has been a good leader. Listen, I think uh, we, we spoke about we've not got a talisman in the side like Northern Ireland. They've got under Lafferty, Bale, uh, Ramsey. Um, there, there's guys who are stand out. They've been. We've lacked a real goal scorer. Um, I think Stephen Fletcher has found it difficult to, to really put the put the chances away and, and make himself a real cult hero by 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 burying goals and and becoming that player for us, a real uh, goal scorer number nine. How has the team improved over the last two years? Well, they've improved as a team. They're, they're not letting goals in. As I say, you know, when you've got two players who can score, you're winning goals. They got. They've. Uh, I think the defence is saying, "Listen, we're not going to let goals in." And I think we've won. We've let one of the fewest goals in. And I think because the defence has been absolutely fantastic and led by Ashley Williams, uh, you know, your energy and goal he hasn't had a lot to do. So I think it, I've been impressed by how well they've been organised and how well they've defended.
they've grown in stature. We've got some really experienced players. Our most consistent player is probably Steve Davis, who's at Southampton, and he's in the midfield uh, general and captain, and he runs the show, and he's always very consistent. He's always a seven or an eight every game, you know, out of ten. He's always up there. Well, Martin took over at a very low patch, and it was a, a difficult start from. They had a lot of friendly matches, and the friendly matches didn't go too well. There was a hangover to the end of the Trapatoni era, which fizzled away alarmingly. I think most people, if, if they're being honest about it, would say they're, they're happy enough with the rebuilding that Martin is doing, but it would really add the icing on the cake and make us all feel great about the team again if we can get to a tournament. You know, all in all, the whole team has gelled and there's a good spirit about it. It reminds me a lot of the squad I played in when we qualified in 1982 and 1986. It reminds me a lot of that. So I want them to enjoy what we enjoyed by playing at a major championship.